me ask you something. You have decided, as a SPAC, to clean up and get rid of the warrants and make it so that I actually know the share count. I was with someone this Saturday, and, I asked, and they asked me, he says, do you know how many shares there are of X? I'm not going to mention it, because I'm, I'm big at it. He had no idea, because there's warrants here, there's different crazy. You've decided to make this look like a real company. Well, we were super bullish on the stock, and we thought, look, we're going to blow through 1150 pretty quickly. So we were able to purchase uh, a, a pretty big slug of those, and then we did a conversion uh, into shares, but simultaneously, we bought back 3.4 million shares. You're, are there any other SPACs that did that? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I can't find it. Oh. Just, you know, I couldn't find it. Yeah. Now, who is who? I know that you have a man who worked with Comcast on your board, yeah. who was our CFO, and oh, he's a tough guy. So you've got some, this is Michael Angelakis, you have people on your board, again, who care passionately about shareholders and making money, not just for the people who promoted it. Well, we have a great board, and, and uh, they really believe in the company and its vision. And we started with one bowling alley right here in Union Square. I bought that back in 97. You'll like this, Jim. I paid 3000 down and $2 million borrowed. I only had 3000 We turned it into the highest grossing bowling alley in the world. We went from one million dollars losing money to 15 million and now we have 323 bowling alleys all across the country don't miss a second of mad money follow at jim kramer on twitter have a question tweet kramer hashtag mad tweets send jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-cnbc miss something Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.